So yesterday during the day, I was hanging out in the Blender Artist Forum and I was reading the geometry nodes section. And so one of the things that was posted was really interesting to me. There's this procedural wall generator um, that's built on geometry nodes that basically um, allows you to create procedural walls using paths inside of Blender. So what you do is you draw a curve and then some paths and it'll automatically generate your wall as well as your openings um, where the paths run through the wall in Blender. And so I wanted to download this and give it a try and I thought that you could as well. So the author of this really cool geometry node setup is CG Material. I will link to his Gumroad page in the notes down below. And one of the things on his Gumroad page is at the bottom, there's the procedural wall generator. If you click on that, notice that you can download it for free just by putting in a value of $0. Now I always like to do a at least a little bit of a donation if you can um, to people that are creating cool stuff like this just to support what they're doing. But one way or the other, you can download that through this page depending on what you can afford. And so one other thing I guess I should have pointed out is you do need to make sure that you use Blender 3.1 builds on this. So you need to use the alpha builds in order to do this because those are going to have more nodes. Those are going to be nodes that this relies on. But I thought we'd go ahead and open this up and take a look at how it works and then how we can bring this into our own, um, into our own models. So first off, let's open up the overall model. So the larger one that has the textured file inside of it. I've got this in Eevee right now, but you can see how this, this is like a full file with multiple different paths in it. It's got the different walls as well as the openings that are in here. And you can actually edit those curves. So if I select one of those curves and I edit it right here. So let's say I was just to move the curve around completely. Notice how that wall is going to adjust along with the curve. And one of the cool things about this is notice how the openings are also adjusting with this as well. So what this tool does is it basically takes your curves and it generates walls and the openings dynamically based on where they're located. So this gives us a pretty good idea of what the possibilities are. But what I wanna do is let's open up the other one, the um, kind of beginner file. So we're gonna open up the uh, wall gen tutorial file bit simpler. And so if you look at this, you can see a little bit better kind of what it's doing. And so real quick, what I want to do is I want to take a look at the inputs that are making this run. So if you jump over and you look at your cube object, so you can see how that object is what has the geometry nodes modifier on it. And notice how what it's doing is it's being passed a wall curve and a path curve. So those are basically the curves that have been drawn and you can see them over here on the left hand side of the screen. And what the geometry nodes curve is doing is, or what the geometry nodes is doing is it's reading those curves and that's where it puts your walls and your paths. And notice how you can adjust things like your wall height and um, inside of your model, this will adjust dynamically at all the different stones and other things like that. Um, you can also adjust things like the door size. So this is gonna adjust the width of the door. Notice how not only is the opening size changing, but also the rocks around the outside of the opening are changing as well. So you can use this in order to kind of adjust how those look in here. In addition, you can also adjust the path width. So if you adjust the width of the path, notice how the width is actually adjusting where it places the rocks inside of your model. So you can use this in order to really quickly customize the results that you can get inside of this geometry node setup. And so we could also, if we wanted to, remove these curves and add our own. So for example, let's say I was to delete out this curve right here so that we don't have any curves on here anymore. Well, what we could do is let's go ahead and let's just add a curve. So I'm just gonna do a shift A. We'll just add a Bezier curve and I'm gonna tab in here and dissolve the vertices. And then I'm just going to use annotate or not annotate. I'm gonna use the draw function in order to model out this curve. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw on the 2D view right here. You can see I've created a curve right here. It's called the Bezier curve 001. And we can just rename this wall. So now if we go back into the geometry node modifier that's on our cube right here, and I guess I need to tab out of edit mode first. But if we go back into that modifier and we pass it the wall curve of our new wall, notice how the wall is being created in here based on that curve that we drew. So now let's say that we wanted to add a path. So we could do the same thing where we're gonna do a shift A, and we're gonna add a curve. I'm just gonna draw a path right here. And then I'm gonna tab out of edit mode and we're gonna call this path. 
And you don't have to name them wall and path, by the way. It just helps you stay organized. But then you can click in here and select the option for path. Well, notice how when you do that, now your path is generating um, openings in your wall as well as path rocks in here. And again, these are adjustable. So I could set the width of the path to whatever I want that to be as well as the height of the walls, other things like that. Now I will say the one thing I haven't quite figured out yet is currently the geometry node setup is basically set up where um, what it's doing is it's generating a grid and a noise texture in order to create the ground. So you can come in here and you can edit the size of the grid, right? So I could make this like 64 by 64 and make it larger. And you could adjust the noise texture in here to make this look a little bit different, right? Like the roughness. Other things like that, that's going to adjust the ground, which in turn is going to adjust the walls. But what I haven't figured out is how to actually apply this to a piece of geometry, right? So if you have like your own surface in here, um, something about, so this needs to be something that pulls in the geometry from previously and links into the raycast where it's creating the walls. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to do that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a geometry nodes master. So if any of you knows, leave a comment in the notes down below, but that could make this like the ultimate wall geometry generation tool if you're creating these castle style walls. All right, so going into 2022, I want to highlight more cool stuff like this. I think there's a lot of cool development going on with Blender, and I want to cover that more on the channel. So if you see anything cool, link to it in the comments down below, or at least let me know about it. I may feature it on the channel. Thanks again to the author of this geometry node setup for putting this together. I have linked their Gumroad page in the notes down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.